Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Mastering Runeterra Squadcast. I'm Monty, and today I'm joined by my pals, Card Gamer, Shadox, Prodigy, Fansora, and Santa. Guys, how you doing today? Doing pretty yeah. good. Pretty good. Yeah. I'm in the last minute ladder crunch, so you know, a bit stressful, but it's same. But I'm good. probably like 200 points below you. Yeah, I'm right there. I'm at 550. Yeah. That's like rank 40. I just gave okay. up, and I'm sitting comfy at like Close. 250. I just, it's the sort of thing where, like, I know that I can make it up back into the top 700, because that's, like, easy. Um, so, like, I'm just going to try and see if I get close. And if not, I'll be at, like, 200 or whatever. And yeah, that seems good. <laughs> yep. Yep. Well, uh, we got cards today. Yeah. We're, yeah, we who did. Who expected that? We got Kaisa. That was kind of cool. Kaisa's, Kaisa's a pretty yeah. cool champion. Uh, what do you guys think about Kaisa? Uh, so, I'm not entirely sure how good Kaisa will be. It's very hard to say exactly. Um, I would imagine she gets a tad bit more support um, in some so. type of form. Uh, but she looks pretty powerful. Evolve can definitely look awkward to turn on if you don't draw Kaisa right now, depending, like, um, you know, what else we get uh, and depending <laughs> how hard you need to build into her. But, like, she's certainly a very powerful card and if you look through shurima like they're pretty good at facilitating kaisa um by themselves so she looks to be flexible enough i think my issue with her is she's just another five mana four four it's just a lot of six six it's a lot of if you're playing her as a six six how many it's Six unique keywords. Six For keywords. Evolve? She's quick attack. Technically though. five. So she's one of them. Yeah. So five others. That's five. Well, so it vault doesn't count. So it's quick attack counts as one, and then there's five others. Yeah. Yeah. So five others. So like, if you're not mm -hmm. playing, like if you're playing her as a five mana six six, if you can do that consistently, I think she's really good. If you're playing her as a five mana four four, I think she's really suspicious. I mean, she probably won't only have quick attack either if she is a five mana four four right mm -hmm. playing her with the yeah, spell shield guy is really cool because right yeah because you you get a second oh. skin on summon yeah, yeah. and yeah. like also like supercharge is to evolve prox supercharge, and, uh, supercharge is going to make me play auction lee sin again and i don't oh, think yeah, it's gonna be gonna good be fun. <laughs> uh, second skin doesn't progress her level up though Oh, it doesn't. Well, no, because no, it's, it's not unique. No, it you're, you're, it's yeah. the same well, keywords. Yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. Right. It, it'll be the yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm worried about like the like. I'm worried if she's going to be gen like generally good or if she's going to be like really strong on a high roll, but outside of that, she's like kind of meh. Because like a five mana I mean, six like, six that's like swinging in for like four damage random like pinging on the board. It's not random actually, right? It's like lowest health to. Lowest health mm -hmm. to Nexus. I'm trying to think. So, like, I feel like a lot of... It's, like, five, getting the other five keywords, like, isn't that hard. Because you... Like, they revealed the one one, which is, like, a, the Poro, mm -hmm. right? Just like, yeah, gets the keywords cool. every turn. So um, that's, like, I also love and then, like, Tusk. Let's say you're playing... The two drop is good. Yeah. Play it in Demacia, yeah. right? And then, like... You get two off of Broadway. Yeah, exactly. Play Demacia, you... You get... Bro oh, oh, wait. You get two off of Broadway. Like, you get, you get Barrier, right? <laughs> And Bright Still Protector is kind of yeah, nice. Bright Still That's has. another one. Okay. Real mm -hmm. quick. Yeah. Did, like, um, and then you challenge. Yeah, you get Challenger Formidable. There's a lot. Or Bright, Challenger guess, Formidable, Quick lot. Attack, Barrier. And then you're just missing one. Tough. You could just. You could, like, play, like, one or two Durand. Um, or you could, like, Ranger's Resolve. Mm -hmm. Ranger's Resolve literally yeah, activates. Or you're just board. running, like, Voidling. I wonder if Sharp Sight counts. Because, like. It, it, it does, like, actually, they said. But oh, it's a bug. That's a keyword? They said. They said they'll fix that it. Seems okay, yeah. Okay. I was like, Sharp Sight. Currently, it does. Sharp Sight should currently not count. <laughs> Can we just buff that card a little bit more, right? That card's not good enough. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, how bad can, like, just, you know, it, it's Sivir Akshan too, but, you know, it's like Kaisa. Like, how bad is it? You have, like, a random Demacia challenger on board, you play Kaisa, and now you have, like, a 4 4 quick attack challenger. Like, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. And, like, Kaisa has way more upside than that. What too. is, um. Right. Does Evolve give stat boosts? Is it... Yeah, plus two, it's plus two. plus two, plus two. Plus two, plus two. Yeah, plus two, plus two. Which is a lot. Just like, I really yeah. want... Hive Herald is, like, my favorite art they've shown so far in this set. 
and I think it's a terrible card. It looks awful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like even evolved, it's Wait, the which one is it's that? a six mana three three. And on play, oh yeah, that card's bad. Grant a unit and me each other's positive keywords. Like that's but, so. But like she only has a vault. What do you think? She's I only... know. It's yeah. like what's the um Piltover Zon one that's like this? It sees no play. It's augmented. Like, when you attack. Augmented experimenter. Yeah. yeah. The mimic. It's oh like no. A, nice, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Augmented yeah. experimenter. That one. Deal three. That one sees yeah. no play. This seems like worse, worse. than that. No. Yeah. That one's like that one's a five cost. I mean, unless of unless evolve stacked. Which no, I don't think it no, does, right? So. So. That'd be cool. It, it's so like then, deep, yeah, I think. Was, hmm? So it's like once you've gotten it, you're yeah. now evolved. Yeah, I think we'll see like more, but I do think if she ends up being a like, like Sivir Auction kind of deck, I'll be really into it because that's like one you of my favorite just... builds. The if you play like the Zerxai Hatchling, that's also like. Plus two to kind of You want to run a lurk card nice. just in a non lurk deck? <laughs> Base! It has fearsome <laughs> two, come on! That's just great. Hmm. I mean, it, it maybe is a one of. It just like throw a couple one ofs in there, right? Like, because you don't have a lurker, you don't have a fearsome, you just like throw it in there as like, hey, this like helps me get there. And like, if I draw it, great. If I like don't draw it, it's not that you bad. Play I don't know. Barreled on it. <laughs> it becomes a yeah. Three three. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think it's probably that good. But. Yeah, I think Supercharge is cool. I think outside of that, most of her followers are pretty boring. Um, I think I don't know. The, 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 the two-mana spell shield okay. guy. That one's um, cool. kind of cool. I think two-mana spell shield's cool. I also yeah. think the f like four-four, like four-mana four-four, might be good yeah. just though, because it's a four-mana six-six with overwhelm. Yeah. Which like can be really yep. strong. Plus, you can give Kaisa overwhelm. Like, I think that's. That's what do you guys curve. think of that? Yeah. The, I mean, Abomination could void be abomination. a finisher, too. Yeah. I mean, it's a 7-6, it's a right? It's a 7-6 with yeah. all the keywords it, that... Like, you know what keywords it's, it's like going to be. It's like a, so you can oh, like a weaker for. arsenal, sort of, you know? Yeah. It's kind of I mean, it's, stronger. it's more consistent, because you know yeah. what keywords... Yeah. We can you know, also it's more consistent. Abomination Scout. Right. Right, so you can like plan mm -hmm. for that kind of stuff, which I think if you're like playing a, a Demacia, yeah, and even Shurima deck, that's pretty like cool. you have Preservar, you have, you have Preservarium to like draw you cards, which like Demacia sucks mm -hmm. at, and then like you can give stuff like yeah, Overwhelm I, I think Absolver, gonna obviously, be a, and an auction pairing. Good. I think that's probably the best. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. Actually. Yeah. Let's talk other. There's like three yeah, or, other cards they put out. There that are really cool. There's six, that, six uh, other four, uh, the, No, the, uh, well, there's, there's three more. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> the variety okay. cards. The training pits? Come on. The <laughs> no, training pits is nuts. The Dude, Monty. come nuts. The yes, training bro. pits is actually <laughs> really good, right? What, what the fuck? Yeah. Right. Imagine you have Scion, and you play one of these, and you just play this, and then you play Scion, like, and then you just... Yeah. This is Katarina, just, that's but, what it's, Scion but it's free. You're, so, so like, like, you don't have to pay the cat every not, turn. You just You're attack. not playing that on four, like, almost ever. But, like... No, if, no. Like, yeah, if you're seven, playing right? that on, like, six or yeah. seven, and then you're swinging in, that's cracked. Like, if they don't have landmark removal, or you're just forcing that, like... It's like, I mean, have you guys played the? Uh, have you guys played like Ash the Blonde? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Monty. Yeah. Like, Monty's played like, a lot. <laughs> right, like I've played a lot like of you get decks. you win the board, but like you can't like win the board for long enough to do anything because like you attack and then they they chump block and then they like reload because you can't yeah. do anything on their you, turn, mm -hmm. right? Because you need so to have, have these this, units like, sitting there. Horrible like perfect scenario of like level dash plus harsh winds right. and like or like yeah, inspire like that's the only way you into LeBlanc's, into, into LeBlanc's mm -hmm. spell or but now we can play the the, the ruin Re the the reckoner yep. the four the four mana four three we can just we can get a free attack with one of our guys mm -hmm. and then that yeah, will I do, trigger the I rally. do actually think reputation might squeak up to like the top it's, of tier two yeah. <laughs> Dude, I think yeah I don't think it's like going up there but it's like it's um, playable else, now, depends yeah. what else is released right yeah like this landmarks like Huge, yeah. right? I think it's I mean, really good. Okay. Yeah. If you're main decking okay. Sisa Tactician, I can see this being better. Yeah. This just replaces Tactician, yeah. right? Like, and suddenly you don't have to play yeah. LeBlanc anymore either. You could just play. Because, yeah, there's, there's a lot of bad cards like, in it, Reputation. <laughs> I mean, did you ever run, like, yeah. Shunpo in Reputation? You used to, yeah. I did in the yeah. past. People did. And then Tactician came out. 
I mean, okay. this card the best came use out for this card is just that. Demacia, though, right? Like, your Cataclysms become rallies. Yeah. That's also oh, gross. God. That's yeah. pretty good. I mean, you just play, like, a, a Mono Demacia shell, and then you slot this yeah. card in. As, like, I don't a, know your, if that's your... actually good, but that would be But fun. the problem is, like... That's that's a big yeah. mana commitment. Yeah. Like that's or like we well, you have Garen. If you're running like Garen with the Legion, it's, it's not it's, that bad, right? Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's hard though because like you're playing Demacia Noxus, which does not sound like the best. Like yeah, you get this nah, card. Nah, it's fine. Like, your Demacia better be nah, really good. Just whirling and you level your Garen. It's fine. Yeah. Whirling and level yeah. the Garen. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I mean, or yeah, and anything that starts to attack spells. on your opponent's turn, it, it can trigger, right? So like if you play this with you know Snapjaw Swarm. And you lurk a lot, <laughs> it's like a free rally. Yup, yup. There you go. There this we is why go. we're running Zersai Zersai Hat. Just just to hit you guys like okay. this. I love you guys it. like this card now, but just wait until a Thralls player randomly creates this. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> oh I can't wait. No, it doesn't have countdown. It doesn't have countdown. He no, no, you can create it with Talia. Yeah. Talia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Talia, the Talia, the count. Yeah, you can't even the, imagine, yeah. but yeah. Okay, I need to know if Wild Claw's Ferocity is actually terrible. No. Because I oh, think yes. it's. Can't be. I think it's yes. good. What it's deck pretty, are you running it in? It can't like, be terrible. Lux? It's, it's playable off that, Fire. That I very much believe. And maybe. Okay, yeah, for sure. And I think it's, it's a strong hit there. And it's maybe. And it's maybe playable in like a transform, like the Narsedjuani transform. Yeah, that's deck. that's yeah. exactly like it. I don't like because nah. someone wanted won a tournament with that deck, and I don't know that I don't think that deck's like great, but I think if you were playing that deck, I don't think like, you have this you don't have don't targets for this in that deck. You don't have yeah. room but for you, it. What are you transforming? Yeah, I don't know. I just like I want it to be good. Like, I love you've the got like, chemist. I know, but it's just like See, focus I think attacking. This card is like focus. Attacking with so, a seven six yeah, overwhelm here. has to be good. Here's so so here's here's the ideal like line, right? You play you play uh, a one drop, then you bank mana, then you play knack attack, and then on four you attack with you you transform, right? You bank yeah. two mana and then you have the four. And so on four you you transform your one drop into it and you have a a eight seven with impact attacking them on turn four. But yeah, that's not bad good. actually. You have yeah, to have like, like all three of those cards. Yeah, yeah like, it's you, not yeah, bad. You have like I don't think you, you need this in an aqua attack deck though but you have like, like the Aquatax. the yeah. tusk speak rider raider yeah the, the three two overwhelm speaker. like you can have that that you transform yeah. you have omen hawks that you can transform like if mm -hmm. you're running um like you probably I run agree. ice veil archer i mean like the issue with this card is you're paying six mana to like transform a unit that you already paid a couple mana for mm -hmm. into like yeah. a unit that is barely worth six mana um, but then you get to open like, attack with it and focus you get spell mana, which is nice. And like that's <laughs> like that, that's, that's really funny. And all. Like that, that's real funny, but like I think is it good? I don't yeah, I don't it, think it's you're best like, with like free units, right? Yeah, like your, free units yeah. or or like really dog shit units. Oh, so we're gonna wait, 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 wait. Right, really cheap stuff that like has so like saying, a play effect, yeah. right? We and found another reason to nerf chompers. Yeah. Is that basically. what's happening? <laughs> it's it's flame chompers or you know, drawing Omen Hawk late game. Yeah, but like yeah. Yeah. It's like isn't this just like a mini Battle Fury though? Um, it is a mini, yeah. Uh, but like Battle Fury kinda, doesn't grant kinda. overwhelm, and but, sometimes yeah, that matters. Exactly. Right. But right. you know, this this ain't burst it, it, though. If if you're doing it before turn five, it's all right, correct. But if you're doing it after turn five, yeah, that's it's probably fair. Not that good. I just like wanted yeah, sure. to do it. I've like I've wanted right. Frail Yard mid range to be good for so long, but like. But like the conditions for it to be good is like you play it before turn five and you have to like have another unit that like kind of stinks that you want to throw away. Like, it's like enough to consider it. I don't think it'll Which really. Like my first and I know nobody cares, card. but you know. I don't know. El Nux. El Nux. No, but El like true. like yeah. my first deck I ever crafted was it's War Mother's Call. <laughs> I just it's never gonna see play again, and it makes me sad. It wait, Shalnox is right. This is Yeti's Poros and El Nux support. You have that draw four card. That card's not that? fill your deck with Yetis, Poros, and Elnux. I think you just play this. That turning this is what we've no, we've but like to, turning guys. a Poro into a seven-six overwhelm. Think about it. <laughs> Santa, think about oh, it. Come on, three better draw four. That's a lot of cards. You can slap a TF in there. Slap a TF in there. <laughs> oh my god. I mean. <laughs> I'm just looking at this and like thinking about finance here. So now I'm thinking about like timelines and imagining someone mm -hmm. in like a PNZ Freljord 
you pour cannon out your chompers, and then you play this, and you swing in. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, not bad. It's I mean, really yeah, good. That's like all randomly generated cards, yeah. really. And you know, speaking yeah. of timelines, the the Demacia A drop I think is pretty good for timelines. Right. Yeah. It's not oh, good to main deck, but you yeah. know, timelines, it's a good hit. timelines got some buffs this patch. Well, well, no. what a, like, yeah. also, they, the, they got the, one the, good, one bad, but overall it's better because you're no. Scoring. Even the evolved one's okay. Well, no, no, the, the void is the vo uh, evolved. Really? Yeah, good, I would say because it says when I'm summoned. Yeah, because it says it says no. Summon. All allies have had this. It's a summon, so it doesn't count. Right? Transform units yeah. aren't summoned. The second, the yeah. second part will work yeah. though. Oh, when it's season, it turns it into yeah, it turns into a uh, vanilla five four, and then like you just yeah. summon like, units yeah. that get a keyword. Yeah, it's, it's a pseudo Does it, vanilla. Evolve still work? Yeah, evolve still works too. So uh, yeah, evolve, evolve will work. Evolve it's aura. just that uh, yeah. it's not summoned, so it won't get yeah, like, the first all part the cool will keywords yeah. that make it a finisher yeah. that you'd actually want. Yeah. Although the second yeah, part will yeah. work, so when you you know do another yeah. timelines on another unit, <laughs> then you can get the sure. keywords. Oh wait, wait, wait! Does it work with Trundle? Wait, what does it work with Trundle? When Trundle gets the overwhelm, does it see that and at least give it the overwhelm and the regen? Uh, that should work. Because uh, then it would I don't think suck it, as uh, much. I don't think so, but I have no that's fucking tough. idea. <laughs> I yeah, I don't I know, think right? he should. Get, if, if that's the case, then it's like he it maybe should playable. get the overwhelm, but it shouldn't get the regen, right? <laughs> Because it's a new yeah. keyword. The overwhelm, know. yes. Regen, no. Yeah, I guess so. All right. But it counts as a transform. Anyways, like champion we, level, it's, it's, it's like... We gotta, we gotta talk about Yasuo Boat. We should keep going. Oh, goodness. Because yeah. they did it. They, they printed yeah. a Yasuo yeah. Boat. They, they yeah, Yasuo Boat. They, did they printed it. it. They, they printed a it. Yasuo <laughs> Boat. <laughs> oh, man. They just, they just it's gave five a mana. Boat. It's just like the cheapest boat we've got. <laughs> See what they're trying to do is they're trying to make bronze easier to climb. Well, it's not the cheapest no. boat. No, 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 real shit, real shit. I think I'm gonna get baited. Is it not the cheapest? I think I'm gonna get baited. What's, by what's it. the what cheaper boat do we have? <laughs> does does biggest fan Draven's count? biggest fan is not a Draven's. boat. It's, 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 right, it's, 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 it's like count. It's like semaphore fly. It's not the actual boat. Yeah, come on. There's entreat. Entreat's a boat. Entreat's a boat. Yeah, but entreat's not a boat. It is a boat. Entreat's a boat with deck building restrictions. Yeah. So yeah, so Bab Bjerg. yeah, I put babbling Bjerg in my plunder plunder <laughs> list instead of entreat, and it's just oh, oh, yeah. there's no reason when to. Remember Wayfinder was a boat. <laughs> remember when Wayfinder was a boat? Uh, yeah, <laughs> true. I missed those. So days. like, I don't actually... think this card sucks. I don't think it's great. It... It's five mana. <laughs> it's, well, it's I don't just... know. I think it's it's five mana. Pretty good. I, in a world where I think if you're and... And if you're trying to running play around. Yasuo, you don't care if your deck's tier one. Okay, what's that Solari landmark? I have Rahurok. I have Rahurok. No one plays yeah. that. That card that is awful. incredibly good. It doesn't draw you a Yasuo. That card's yeah, awesome. it doesn't yeah. stun. It. Like first, it doesn't it stun. every time you get the attack you token. It. Yeah. Also, like, also, you can rally and stun. Sounds, yeah. You can scout attack and you get Look, double stun. Yeah, nobody There's was, so much nobody you can do. Nobody was talking Garen about... Yasuo. Nobody is talking about <laughs> Katarina Yasuo. <laughs> you play the Windswept Hillock, Bro, and Kat you're Yas rallying two or three, like, two times a turn, easy, and you're Bro, stunning I'm their so board. Bad. Dude, guys, when you're Yasuo... You're not going to vouch for this Leona Yasuo? No, that Leona you Yasuo, play? you're not going to vouch for it there? Come no, Leona... <laughs> Leona Yasuo uh, doesn't need this card because Leona Yasuo would be better without Yasuo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it needs Jin. It's Jin. It's, it's Jin. Yeah, Jin support. It's true. It's true. It, it it's is Jin, Jin support. support. Jin Yasuo. All right, but guys, when Yasuo levels up, he procs the Trifarian Training Pits, which then procs <laughs> your other landmark. <laughs> Have you thought of that one? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. And then he played That's a combo. No, it doesn't, it doesn't count. It's not a strike. No, no, no. It's, it's, when he's leveled up and then no, he's attack. Saying, yeah, he's yeah. saying he gets five attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because he also has five attack. That's it's that's really amazing. Yeah, wait, yeah. so we can run training pits, <laughs> training pits, Hilla, so we... Katarina, and Yasuo in the same deck. And we're just never not mm -hmm. attacking. And don't forget your monastery. Don't forget your monastery. Yeah, because yeah. we need to fill up the we need to fill up the board with more. Yeah, with actually, more if we're not there. on six landmarks, more what's even landmarks. the point? <laughs> Nine landmarks. Wait, we need Nox Raya Arena. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that oh, was bad. No. Come on. Oh, yeah, unlike, <laughs> yeah, yeah, unlike, unlike these other landmarks. <laughs> that one's too far. Like, why is that card yeah. printed? Because it's Does really fun. It's just like a fun oh, card. Nox Cry Arena? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. one of the many failed attempts yeah. to yeah. make Ash relevant again. But yeah, Nox, the, uh, Nox Arena is one of my favorite like landmarks they printed at the start because it's just like such a fun effect. It has a really fun animation. 
It's Let me tell you, it's a Velvet Tracker it package. Should... Let me tell you, when Expeditions still existed, that card was an all-star. Yeah, that's that actually true. That card was baller. You, you drop Nox Cry Elite I Arena, you drop that six-drop elephant that doesn't, like, take damage from oh. anything with four or less power, oh. and you just go to mm -hmm. town. You, you drop and then, the, and you then after, the like, Asian 30 rounds, rounds, you'd win the game. Yeah. There you go. I played it in, uh, cons in Master's Ladder once. I uh, I got up to Leah's spell and used it to kill my pot's fizz before they killed me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there, we there we go. There we go. Found a you use know, case. Bravo. I, I have the Raha Rocks actually, like, unironically good to hit off of the uh, five mana Daybreak yeah. card. It's a great card. Yeah, I have the Raha Rock. Rock is a you great just, you, draw card. Yeah, sometimes. you just don't main deck it. It instantly flips Malphite. How can it not be good? If it didn't True. take up, like, it's just because it takes up two board spots. Yeah, like, if it was a yeah. landmark I mean, hey. that just had, like, well, when I'm summoned, stun that. 2, yeah. countdown 2, or whatever. Or, like, it, every time I count down, stun 2 units. Five mana. Why don't they change that card to countdown 2 when I count down some stun the two weakest Yeah, enemies? that would be, that would, I think that card would actually be good. Uh, that'd be broken. Because then it doesn't level stuff. up Malphite. Well, it would just be, yeah. you'd make it Daybreak. That's true, it doesn't level up Malphite, but it does this burst feed stun the entire board. Yeah. You know what does help level up Malphite? The Yasuo boat. The Yasuo boat. The Yasuo boat. The Yasuo Malphite. The Yasuo boat. We're in. The iconic oh, league no. combo. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> in case stunning your board and hitting them for twenty wasn't enough, now you can kill their board. Yeah, oh. now you can now you can stun one of their units before you play Malphite's stun spell. Man, it's pretty crazy. Yasuo is never gonna Amazing. be a good card ever. Oh. There's he not. There's not <laughs> no, no, no. Just, yeah. just wait until Yone gets placed to the game. I, I don't He's believe it. He's going to be a good card. What? Yes, he is. He's what just going to power creep. Y Yasuo will still be horrible. Yeah, you have, Yone you have to wait. all the decks. Yeah, exactly. yeah, Yasuo is in You have to Monty, wait, wait we have until. Senna. You need, like, Yone to be released no, as. I mean, or you Yone, need a new Yasuo, Yasuo yeah, released as a follower for him to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. We're getting all the champions. We already have Yone. No, we're going to get, like, Yone as a champion eventually. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 but like, yeah. remember when Senna came out and then like Lucian was good again? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Uh, okay. We should what about Warden on. Husk? Because that's yeah. actually a oh, semi decent. Warden Husk is actually cool, and I okay, think wait. you I think you play it in your evolved deck. Real quick, like, no idea. Warden Husk well, doesn't have a. We can't gem. main deck it, right? It's not main deck. Oh, yeah, we can't main deck it. Where do you get yeah. it? You can't make just, it. Oh, did they, yeah. did they not, you can't. You can't main deck it. Tomorrow. Did they not release the card that makes? How it? do you make it? I what? No, I I think it's probably part of Evelyn's package. That is really fun. Yeah. I think it's. Okay. Uh, I didn't notice it didn't have a gem. Look at like if you look at the art. It's also if you look at labeled the art, as like a Runeterran card. Just so yeah, that I heard. I'm seeing. Um, I mean, I'm it has Shurima. Shurima. Yeah, it shows Sharima. Yeah, it has Sharima. Yeah. But, like, it's actual, like, but then it, code is, like, Rune Terran. But at the top, it says... Yeah, but the, huh, interesting. Yeah, and the top... I mean, if they, if they put a Sharima mm. icon in the top right, it's... It's probably both. It might be part of, like, the, like, the can't block, can't attack It'd be pretty sick if, uh, I don't know. It's an Evelyn follower and Evelyn's Rune Terran. Yeah, I'm down know. with that. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm pretty yeah. excited yeah. for Evelyn. She's my most played champ in League. I mean, like... And then, no one's playing, a. Counterfeit copies on the Starhound pack. <laughs> yeah. Star, uh, Starhound. <laughs> I that art is absolutely <laughs> stunning, and that card will never yeah, go nice, in any deck. Nice card. Yo, <laughs> dude, what do you mean? You got Kaisa Pantheon now. Look at how shown to dude, us an ad. Look at how good those like, dogs are, though. We get we get to play. Um, White flame is, is two the, keywords. Iceborne Legacy. White you know? flame is two keywords. <laughs> Starhound's just one. Yeah, you can't run it. <laughs> No, oh, it's just such a good boy. Okay. I mean, what if they what if they change I, I, like Starbone and stuff to include Starhound? Then would it be better? No. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny at yeah. least, though, and be at least be you funny. Need, like, a dog tribal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that that, that yeah. really oh, does bump God. it up a little. We're talking Yetis tier now. I would I would love good. to yeah. play yeah. the good boys deck. I'm down. I can't get too hyped about. I can't like do any deck building because we have seasonal. So that's like the one that's thing. That's fine. I you don't have all the cards yet. I, I'm glad they like. Yeah. I'm glad they crunched everything up. But it's also like all these yeah. new cards, and I can't. I'm not like super hyped because it's like I have to like focus on seasonals. But yeah, okay. uh, I, I I too have to pretend to focus on seasonals. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. No. Honestly, like I just 
you know, we, we've only seen so many cards. And, like, every, every expansion that spoilers happen, like, the first set of cards that get spoiled, like, we see all of these theory crafts that never see the light of day because there are, like, 20 other cards that you have to see that, like, synergize with everything else. Or it's just better. Hey, not, not Deserter Viego. That one came out, and I we were on <laughs> okay, that yeah, Okay, so yeah, there are exceptions. Cards yeah. are just stupid. <laughs> we'll see play all the time. Yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> we got that yeah. deck build real quick. Yeah. Me and Cephalopod were like... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. No. Deck good. Oh, my God. You're telling me I can play a 7-6 Overwhelm on turn 5? And... That's seven yeah. six. Oh, you Look, play nine eight. That's a, and that's a low roll. Yeah. Look, I'm just I'm just ready to uh, I'm just ready to main deck three supercharge so I can start putting paper craft on three drops reliably. That's gonna be yep. a thing. Oh my god. That's it's, gonna be a supercharge is a scary nuts. card. Yeah. Spell shield I mean, yeah, yeah. overwhelm you play is it, an you, insane you play it. combo. Mm-hmm. What's the most attack you can get on a three head attack unit in uh, it gets pretty crazy because you have shape stone. Yeah. yeah, you have Shapestone, you have Ruthless Predator, you have Absolver in a pinch. Like, you, you can get, I mean, you, you can, put it on, I have done many an OTK with, like, a fucking 2-3 with paper crap. You put it on the Merciless, Merciless, put on the Merciless Hunter? Yeah, yep. yeah. You, if you, you put it on the Merciless. Merciless on turn 5, and you have, like, any amount of mana banked, you're probably just setting up a kill the next turn. Mm-hmm. It's a scary yeah. card. Oh, it's gonna be great. And it's a love it. messed up card to make <laughs> as a. I mean, you could even you could even play like, it. Yeah, focus a speed, which you can't too, use as like a that card, spell, but... like like supercharge as a champ spell. Honestly, just like it's nuts. That might like that alone you put the, you put might on make Pike. Kaisa. Like, yeah. you. What if you put it on Pike in your uh, Lurk deck? Now I'm playing yeah. Lurk. Uh, I know we all yeah. hate, we all hate, no, we all hate Lurk. Dude, but. it's not going to work. Lurk is not going to work. No, 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 no. What? Let me hear Pike me out. Hear me out, well. okay? Lurk won't hear die, I got, I got, I got the sauce for you. I've solved, I've solved it. Okay. Braum Kaisa. Okay? All right? You, get, you got a two mana, three one, overwhelm tough. You've got a four mana regen challenger. You will level Kaisa on curve if you play those two cards. Okay. No, you're Wait, which one regen off. challenger? Does evolve not count as a keyword? No. Does not. Okay, then you just play just some just fucking play random else. ass. No, we're yeah, you just play we're playing else. we're playing Zerusai Hatchling on, on one. Yeah, Zerusai <laughs> Hatchling on one. Yeah, two perfect. Two perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I would love that if I was axed the deck that ends up being built. No look, way. Look, if you second would. look, if That'd you second skin. If you second skin on your Xerxi Hatchling, whenever there's a Kaisa on top of your deck, you're lurking. <laughs> 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 then you know that you're getting another one, so you can let the first oh, one die. That's so good. <laughs> and then and then your opponent knows they can't vengeance it, so they'll never even <laughs> try. <laughs> oh. Real talk, it's like fucking impossible to build a Kaisa deck right now. Yeah, right. we just you need too many things. There's 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 not. You just have to yeah. wait. Yeah. There's gonna be like five there's different plenty. day one Kaisa decks, and only one's gonna be good. I think Kaisa, it's gonna I be like Kaisa dude, will it's end just, up. It's just gonna be Demacia. It's gonna Demacia. be the new Sivir Auction. Yep. It's that, just gonna yeah. be that. God again. damn it! It's gonna be Kaisa yeah, with Auction. Like, like what else? Do you <laughs> I don't want with? that. No thanks. Or Kaisa Sivir, or you run a two-two-two split or something. No, I'll never run an Auction. Yeah, I was about to say Auction. Unless they spoil another good two mana champ. In either Sharima or Demacia, like you just, you're just, you have to play, play and that kind of stuff. Yeah, dude, Demacia champions suck. They're trash. They're real yeah. bad. They're yeah. pretty much across the yeah. board. There's like, why are all the? Why can't we have well, a good Demacia? All, all champion? the good Demacia Bobby cards are nerd. not actually Demacia. It's, Demacia. it's a rule in Riot's card design. But yeah, like Quinn is <laughs> good. Misfortune, exactly Pantheon, Silver, Auction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. And then they they show us like these cute combos with like. Bilgewater and S- Sharima being like, look what you can try. And it's like, no, we're just going to play yeah. Riley. <laughs> like, like, what did you think? There were, one day there will be a critical mass of the Bilgewater free attack cards, and then we'll have a new archetype. It'll happen. I mean, we have Blood in the Water, you know? Yeah, That's a good card. True, we got Blood in the Water. Blood in the Water is a good card. True. It's playable. How the worst value? part about Blood in the Water is when you're 
playing like plunder or something and you attack and then you lurk and your opponent immediately knows that you have it. <laughs> That's awful. the greatest thing ever. <laughs> like why do they have to nerf the card like, by giving you lurk? Though. All right, uh, we why not just use playful? We got we got to talk seasonals before we. <laughs> oh goodness, we definitely do. We should we should we should we should. Dude, seasonals is a scam. Why are there no yeah. good decks? We're all just insecure. There's like one good we're trying deck. to we're all trying to avoid I mean, it. Like yeah, it's yeah. just like I don't know. Who else is on Kobe? I'm not feeling it this this season. Dude, just just I look, just either. bring. Bring like triple aggro. Just bring like three burn vents or something. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. So like, not only have target I target like, those thralls players. Not only, Come on, you not got only it. have you I like it. never played aggro in the history of Runeterra, but like this is one of the worst possible seasons to be on true triple <laughs> aggro. <laughs> But yeah. that means people are going to be so greedy with it, their lists. It, it could exactly. work. It's the perfect No one expects a triple aggro. No Who's one expects Who's going to be on SI this season? Yeah. Oh, You'll get them yeah. when they're not looking. 9-0 with Ophelios the triple aggro. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, Ophelios definitely can't heal for like 12 There's always like one or two players. Oh, I have my own Ophelios. <laughs> I'll get him back. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. But yeah, there's just like... I've been like okay. flip-flopping lineups like every hour because there's just like no deck that's vibed with me this season and yeah i think my best advice is like just play your play your favorite yeah. decks yeah. and like make a semi-coherent lineup and just call yeah it. i'm a gonna make i'm gonna make a commitment right now uh okay. if okay. i make top 32 this seasonal i will bring uh Akshan infinite to the top 32. <laughs> That's like I not even that bad an idea i'm telling you right now it is a guarantee let's go it will happen but now you're just gonna okay. get sniped. Okay. Honestly, Someone's literally just gonna take you out round one and then int the rest of the tournament. Someone's gonna have to like screenshot, look through every single <laughs> account that like won a game in more than one game in seasonal, <laughs> figure out. Honestly, top combat is probably more favorable for that than open rounds. Yeah, oh, if, yeah. You're, if you were a real man, you'd bring it to open rounds. Yeah. Uh, I don't hate myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I could, I could. <laughs> Well, it, he's punishing all the I mean, all the beginners who are just trying to get like into the worst scene, idea to you know? bring to an open rounds tournament because it's like if you lose round one with the deck, like you you you're have to winning. go because like losing they, on time. yeah because they're just yeah. gonna rope you like you have to go and like yeah. <laughs> well you don't play it first you only play it as your third as but your, like they can they, as your yeah, I know but if you decks. lose the first game you have to play it so like if mm -hmm. you lose game one. Then all they do is rope you for the entirety of game two. And yeah, then, and you get destroyed. Yeah, and then yeah. game three is just a You're wash. The tech. It doesn't even matter if you get there. Sure. Oh my god. They're leaking the tech, Santa. People people aren't going to know this. Now so. they will. Now it's out there. Now they will. <laughs> but don't do that. If anyone's so honestly bad. just chat enough to bring infinite to seasonals, let them have their time. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I said if I made top thirty-two, I was just gonna play three, three comfort decks. No coherent lineup strategy. I was gonna bring Nami. Dude, too. like, there is no coherent. They fall in some other. There is shit. no coherent yeah, lineup strategy right now. Lineups are icky right now. Yeah, it is, yeah this is a weird meta. This for, is like any kind of turn. This is like lineup. one of like. I feel like it's like one of the worst tournament matters we've had. Yeah. And I don't it's like not because like the game is boring or the game is like I think I'm ladder is in one of the best like, spots it's been. Yeah. Like yeah. in like the yeah, history. For the yeah. It was also really for the good tournament, like no matter what lineups you make, you have to either bring or respect like some really weird low agency deck. Yeah. Like Bard yeah. is such a prevalent meta card. Uh like uh Yeah. It's it, you, like you play Bard, you play like one of those decks that are really draw dependent, like you play like Papercraft or something. Yeah, like it's, it's just so like, hard because like it's not even like rock paper scissors because it's like not. you can't bring yeah it's like you can't bring three, three decks. A loses to B, that, loses to B like, which loses B. to C, which loses to like like it, it's yeah. like well, everything. It's like jousting. Yeah. People are just like yeah. running at each other yeah. and like one of us is gonna lose. Yeah. Like they're just like we're just gonna run and one of us is gonna like miss and everyone's gonna like yeah. stick There are so many matchups <laughs> that I've had to play throughout the season where it's just like I try to think about what I should strategize with and stuff and I'm like oh it's like, wait who knows it's just a slugfest. 
It's just, just like pulls it out. Everyone's uh, playing yeah. their own game of solitaire. <laughs> like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, there's like, there's no like three deck lineup that if beats you're the paper three deck lineup that beats the scissors three deck lineup. Like, it's just like, yeah, everything's just like, I don't know, bring whatever yeah. deck you want to play and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. Prodigy, it, it, the problem it's, is you can, it's just, you have a complete lineup for last season's meta. Okay, yeah. so this is what I think the difference is, yeah. and it's like really weird, and it's kind of funny because we were all really happy like two and a half weeks ago when we found out about it. But I think the issue is like there's no more Pantheon. Like Pantheon did a lot to like stabilize yep. the meta. Mm -hmm. Like Pantheon let aggro well, exist also, more so. Pantheon like also held thralls down. Like Pantheon was doing a lot to keep things like in check. Well, also like we nerfed a meta that was already stable. Mm -hmm. And we like didn't nerf all the powerful decks, mm -hmm. right? Like like the 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 oppressors were like Bard, Aphelios, um, Nami, and then the stuff that got nerfed, right? And then we just like left Bard alone, which is just an inherently like power. Like if Bard is good, like it's not an interactive game, yeah. well, right? Which is just not yeah. good for comp no, competitive. Yeah, you know, it's like tournaments. It's a weird thing uh, to say, but like a competitive meta gets worse when there isn't a tier zero boogeyman. And they're well, just yeah, like, that's how it's always been. Yeah, and it's yeah. just so like ladder's really yeah. good right now, but like even the best deck in the game with like Aphelios is like really strong and really hard to target, but like it's not impossible to target, and it's also not like like it's not as good as best decks have been. <laughs> yeah, and, and another thing about this meta is like I cannot come up with three decks that just really feel like flat win rate decks where it's like oh yeah. okay i'm not like super favored but i'm not super unfavored i'll try to i'll try to make up for the difference with my skill and i'll use my skill to beat the opponent when you cannot find three of those decks that work together in a lineup right now so you always have to have one of those things going on yeah no matter what the other thing i noticed a lot of is that when you putting three decks together to try and put a soft target onto anything those decks are always going to have opposing holes in them. Like, there's no way to get, like, your defensive line. Like, your ban is never going to be super solid. You're always going to have to take at least one mediocre matchup in your in your pick ban. It just doesn't work out nicely any way you slice it. More yeah. so than previous I couldn't metas. figure anything out. Okay. No, all of the lineups that I've been uh, planning out, all the ones where I try to do, like, some really... I try to put, like, some interesting thought into what I would expect to see, what I expect to target, what I expect to ban, etc., etc. I, I still haven't come up with a lineup where I don't just have like one, like 50, 50 at best matchup. Uh, I mean, there are a couple that I could think of, but like the decks are just so miserable to the point where like <laughs> if you run into anything that you're not supposed to target, you just die. It's not like, this, this is a wacky meta. Yeah. Sure. yeah. We're, we're, we're gonna be flipping some coins here. Yep. And, like, even the stuff that's, like, consistent, like, the triple Demacia lineup, the stuff that I was, like, running for a while, it's, like, yeah, you're consistent. Yeah, you have the same ban strategy. You have the same target strategy. But the problem is, like, the deck's, like, there's just so much variance in the deck. Like, you have to draw, like, you have to, like, you run a lot of early games, so you, you're you going to probably draw decent. But then you, like, have to hit your rally. But if you hit too many rallies, then you're, like, hands bricked, right? And so, like, even the decks that are, like, same, same ban strategy, like, same target, like, it's not consistent how the deck performs. So, like, you get these variant spikes. So, like, even Triple Demacy doesn't feel like it's consistent and, like, doesn't do exactly That's what That's a really to detailed way to say you, know you play three games of scouts, man. Like, fuck scouts, dude. Oh, my God. I, like, <laughs> dude, right? I, I always try to rely on scouts, and then, like, I, I even put a fourth rally in my deck, and I never see that fucker. Like, it That's, never happens. Yeah. <laughs> unless, unless you see all yeah, I'm all playing three shitty, yeah, like, Mirai you know, Warden mid-range <laughs> the entire time. It's not... Yeah, you get you get you get two more you get two more eye wardens and you get like a fleet feather oh. and you get three rallies. Yeah. And just like, <laughs> wanna, and then you get Genevieve because you're like, well, you know, you wanted some top ends. So here's Genevieve, and you're like, it's turn four, man. <laughs> like, what Did am you I? Not want to finish the game. I'm confused. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I will never bring scouts like to scouts. anything ever. Yeah. Take me back to when Scion was tier zero. I, I like I, I maintain Dude, that Scion, Scion did oh. nothing wrong. Take me back to. Scion was so Scion healthy for the metagame. Was, was a seven mana was for the game. 2012 with Overrealm that rallied. You guys are insane. Hey, it was 2010. Yeah, and he, he made the meta great. 2010, he made the meta come on. Great. Yes. No, Holy. It was amazing. Challenger really? Twinblade Revenant? That was Absolutely. amazing. Okay, that was a little broken. Challenger Twinblade was, was like the most broken card. 
The card is not okay. Yeah, that, that I can go. <laughs> but Child but, but Scion didn't Sion. need to die for Twin Blade sin, Sins, you know? Yeah. Like, Scion, Scion kept everything, like, you either like, killed them before they played Scion, or you survived through Scion with, like, Minimorph and stuff. And, like, we had this great flexibility of, like, you can play Control Decks because you can beat Scion, or you can play, like, go faster and beat Scion. But you, like, you can't just, like, sit there and just, like, build up a board that's bigger and bigger and bigger, and, like, we just, like, slam boards over and over. It's like, no, because they... Yeah, yeah. It's, this was, it's really this interesting how, like, in a Scion meta, some weird bard drop. deck where you just <laughs> play big units wouldn't work. Yeah, bard yeah. wouldn't work in a Scion yeah. meta. A lot yeah. didn't work in a Scion Interesting how that meta. works out, huh? <laughs> And that's why it's better. Again. I think Sion's great. Only the good decks. I am glad he got it. his one attack back at least. I think he's actually honestly yeah. spot. though like good riddance to Mini Morph though. Yep, Mini Morph was never a really good card. No, though, if we're being uh, real. I didn't hate Mini Morph. I, I, I didn't really didn't. During that meta, it was like you'd play it in darkness to beat Sion and Lee Sin. Yeah, like I still yeah. hate Mini Morph just because. <laughs> and think then it's everywhere such else, a, it would be. A I just think it's like, such an anti-fun card. Yeah, it's just thank goodness it's not played anymore. No, I, Mini Morph is like, you're going to spend six mana it's to like, negate my seven mana cards. And you don't play seven mana cards. Yeah, I like I Lee think Sin. Mini really I, 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 I was like a Scion Lee player. Sin and you weren't Nasus a Lee Sin decks player, though. Viego decks. I want... as, a lo as a long time Lee Sin and Viego gamer, yeah. I can tell you, Mini Morph was a base addition to the game, and I support it. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. I it's hate really it. I don't, I don't support you. Nope. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. No, no, it was great. Because, mm -mm. like, think about it this way. Anytime people bitched about Lee Sin in the past however many seasons, <laughs> just I mini would morph. say every fucking exactly. time, just put Mini Morph in your deck and shut up. And you know what? It would be valid. Exactly. That's why that card exists, for stuff like that. Oh, uh, well, so funny. And yeah. every time people people played Mini Morph, I was just like, here's another yeah, threat. that's Merry the thing. Like, <laughs> well, just you wait until I start running Overcharge in Lee Sin. Oh fuck yeah! It's, that's, oh. Yeah, then we just, it's just we like, just ping you. Uh, like, you can't ping that. off the spell shield before you mini morph. That's another thing I would like. I oh, would like. I can't. No, I got. I got some nice burst speed. Scrying sands coming. Your <laughs> I would way. like us to have cool decks that don't play Akshan in them. Cause like every cool deck has Akshan in it, right? Akshan's now. not. That would involve an Akshan yeah, nerf, and that's not. I don't okay. think Akshan's gonna get there. Should, should he be a two one? I don't support an Akshan nerf. No. 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 No, I don't support an auction I, nerf. I think auction nerf. I support. I support a Draven Revert. Draven Revert would be fine. Yes. Um, yes. But yeah, I uh, think auction's actually like one of the better balanced champs in the. Yeah. No. Like, he's, he's just like he's just good. He's just he's not really amazing. good. Like he's not he terrible. Solid, he's just like he's pretty solid. good. He's a solid, solid guy. guy. Yep. Versatile, like, and just like the 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 landmark just allows you to he, do some funny things and, he re and interesting combos. And he rewards yeah, like the like right? his champ spell is really fun and, and it, like it's like it's like actually really unique for a champ spell because like you'd never main deck that because why would you? But it's fun to have like available yeah. to you. And like I think the only way you'd want to nerf him is like kicking the landmarks up to nine. You could do and, that, like, but like nothing no. harsher than that. I don't I think say. you need to. Yeah, I just wouldn't nerf him. I just because like it his cool. like tier yeah. one landmark is like fine. But like, and like, getting his tier two landmark is sixteen countdown. You have to work through. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, like it is game it winning. Yeah. but you've gotta you gotta try for that. It's one. also not so necessarily like, game yeah. winning on its own either. Yeah. Oh, when you're running infinite, it is. No. <laughs> hey, yeah. no, it isn't. Let me tell you. <laughs> sometimes you're sometimes <laughs> you're just circle. dropping it. Oh no, it's. Uh, uh, you know who could probably use a revert and still be fine? Fiora. Yeah. I was a, yeah yeah right. Could Fiora would probably back. still not be too strong in this meta? I think. I think she'd be pretty um, I think, playable. I think a Fiora right revert would. Why? Why? <laughs> I thought about it's a it. Revert. You're reverting. Her. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So, I mean, look, if we're playing shit like J4 Jesus. in these bard decks, why not? If we're playing, you're playing one J4, and you can cut that too if you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you yeah. Get you that shit that away from my deck. Now. But yeah, like, gonna... I think, like, 3-3 three, three Fiora would make Fiora Shen a real deck, and it would not be Tier 1, but I think it would no. be fun to play. So... Well, then you can run on Yielding Spirit I have a again. hard time remembering that Shen is you know? barrier when he's summoned now. Like, it's because I it doesn't really seen, matter. I have not seen him <laughs> across the table once since his buff. I've so. seen him a few times with people trying. Shen got buffed. <laughs> 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So like Fiora would be fun though, because like Fiora actually like gives you like ways to like yeah. beat Nami too, right? Because you like buff I it really up. I really like Fiora's game. Just, like, like I surprised. love Fiora's alt win con. I think it's super yeah. fun. I I really like it. Yeah. Especially as, like, if we're not playing like the unyielding spirit, you know, stuff. Like if it's like, even if you're playing unyielding spirit, like that's not burst anymore. So like eight mana unyielding spirit is. Yeah. It used to be very... burst. Yeah, yeah, unyielding yeah. spirit. It used to be. Yeah, no, you were here for that. Yeah, that. Oh, oh my god! god. I'm not You're missing out. You missed out on the greatest <laughs> meme deck of all time. Yeah. The unyielding keg deck. Oh man. That was. Oh, are you oh. unyielding your keg? Is this? That's. Oh. Oh, this is that before we had. Tip, that was prototype. This is before right we had Timon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was amazing. Yeah. This is way back, dude. Burst unyielding. You play Fiora, and then you. You like pass on four, and then you just burst unyielding on five, and just said. And then just, right at, right after that, they released the Targon and then they just, with they, Comet and shit. It was so good. Oh. It was so good. Yeah, yeah I'm just like I'm. Watch such your a, opponent commit like twelve like, mana hush. to one unit. That's their then entire you game plan, and you go, oh, Comet. Man, remember when oh, we were supposed shit. to talk about seasonal lineups? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I mean, like what, do you, you, what do you want you to say? That. Like, we're there are like five good decks. We're all just three of them. You had your whole spiel. What, dude? There's yeah. like 20 good decks in the game. That's the problem. There's too many good decks Pick in the three. game. Pick three. Okay. Put them all okay, in. Okay, th there's like crap. five good decks, and there's like 15 more playable decks. Saying there's 20 good decks is okay. like a bit generous. Saying there are more than like five or six good decks right now is really cope. There are a lot of decks that you can play. I think legitimate. I don't think that's true at all. Okay, so there's... Yeah. H have you seen the Boulevard's like Not tier yet. list? It's like got a, a pretty good like... So I, I'll just like read some of the decks real quick. Like this is pretty interesting. So we've got... Winding, you got Aphelios P and Z, you've got Nami, you've got both bard versions of Ari and Poppy, you've got Thralls, you've got both Papercraft decks, you've got Scouts, you've got Azir Relia, Feel the Rush, Jace Heimer, Scion, Annie Jin, Annie TF, um, Viego, Sundisk, um, Ash LeBlanc, yeah, and Yeah, notice Arla. how I have to like the Ash LeBlanc's a little questionable, so is yeah. Like the first five or six, those are like, oh yeah, that's a powerful Yeah, once you start getting into like, Feel the Rush. And after that, it's like, ooh. You're like, feel the Ooh, rush, I'm know. the Jace. What, okay, like, all the, my all the, all the way this? down in... Like, yeah. All the way down to Scion, I think, is, is I think like, Scion, pretty fun. Yeah, Scion's like, good. Like, the first, like, ten decks yeah, are, like, there's, all, like, at least a dozen like, think, like, legitimately Heimer, good. Yeah. Really I mean, Echo Zillion's in there I, as well. I think it's, like, somewhere Sigur around Rashan. Scouts is when you have, like, a line dividing, like, the top decks versus the... For sure, yeah. Like, there's a difference between... is the line. Like, I think Scouts is, like, the metric. No, like, looking at the it, line, is it as good as Scouts? Yeah, looking at the line, it's tell. Papercraft, Scouts, Azir, Relia, Feel the Rush, and so Scouts feels like the line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't like Azir, Relia? I, I think like, it's not. I don't like Azir, Relia at all. I like it. I don't like it. In, I don't like it not in open, in open rounds. rounds. I like it in. I like okay. it. I, but like, I like that just means that just means it's like a kind of shit deck that's really good in a certain matchup. Yeah, that's exactly what I like it in total Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, a zero. It means I want to like... cheese my way to 10k. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A zero really is one of those decks, too, where, like, if you hit, you can win a lot of matchups, even really bad matchups. But if you miss, like, good luck, dude. Like, that's why I if you don't hit any cards that dead. matter don't versus miss. thralls, like, you're not winning that. And yeah, that's probably your best matchup. Yeah, like, meta. play, like, two games where you don't draw a zero or Emperor's Dice, and then you just quit. What do you mean? I just win with Aurelia. Oh, no, you don't? Nice. You don't. I do. I straight do. Without blades? without a zero or Deus. If you don't have soldiers, I have that, two sparring students. Bro, if you don't if you everything. don't have sand soldiers, you don't have game. No. Oh, it's uh, you're fighting so. Dude, Dude it's, it's it, like so funny. You're it's fine. like you don't draw any of the sand soldier enablers. You draw um, field musicians, and then you just like start doing these really shitty two unit summons because you don't make these sand soldiers anymore, and it all just compounds on top of each other. It sucks. Feels so bad. Get better. Play True. better. You Play got me better. there. Good point. I'm not good enough. <laughs> I did. I did like when that deck came out. Played like three games of it on ladder. Managed to somehow lose the FTR matchup and then just never touched it again. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I was just like, I I hate this deck. I'm not doing this. I like that deck. It's a fun deck. Yeah, it's fun. I have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'll say. I never yeah, played it when it was broken, so I have like deniability. Oh. Well, well I played it when it was yeah. broken. I played it when it was broken, and it wasn't as fun as Nasus Thresh. Oh, I love Nasus Thresh. Oh my god, it's like yeah. one of my favorite decks ever.
That deck is like yeah, I can't just bring some of those. fringe playable right now. It's decent. <laughs> it's it's like yeah, your... it's, it's somewhere in the like top thirty. Yeah, decks, like where you it's could... like you've got your two decks that fit in your lineup, and then you gotta pick the third one out of the trash. Like, could Whatever you hit masters with that deck pretty easily? Yeah, yeah. but like, don't. I don't. It's not yeah. that good. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just play. Just yeah. play Viego. It's just it does yeah. that, but better. Yeah, it's just yeah. like admittedly like, less fun, but. I'm, yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, Heimerdinger way. Jace is, like, the best control deck right now. Like, well, how did, I mean, how yeah. did we get here? FTR is not like a mid range deck. Yeah, FT, FTR is the best control deck still. Yeah, FTR is better. FTR is a legitimately good deck, but the problem is, is it somehow loses to a lot of decks because denies in two regions. And one of them is Sharima for some reason. So. Also, like, <laughs> it just... the way you have to build FTR right now, it's literally just like Shadow Isles Peak. It, it's Peakless Peak right now, pretty much. That shit's yeah. so greedy. Yep. You... It's yeah. so greedy. So you, could run, you could run Shadow Isles Peak, you could run Actual Peak, and then what's our Jin other. Now peak? we're talking Jin Peak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these are Jin, Jin Peak. Like, even even that lineup, we're already. What, oh, what's our other high No, it's uh, on, like, Echo Zillion. Like, War Mothers. War Mothers is your third. Oh, War Mothers. War Mothers. Oh, that's your, that's your third War Mothers. Yeah. No, no timelines. Trundle timelines. Time oh time man, lines. Trundle timelines. Trundle time. Trundle, time, trundle timelines. Sure. Peak and, uh, and without uh, trundle. Turbo ramp with no healing. <laughs> with no <laughs> trundle. No trundle. Like Giga base lineup. <laughs> Yo, I hope somebody tops no, no, that no, lineup. No, no. Somebody take that and top it. I gotta it say, so I don't think we've helped people if they're struggling with their lineups. Oh no. uh, yeah. <laughs> I. Oh, to be fair, we been how able much to help can you help ourselves? We're all so <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about playing Nightfall, Draven, Scion, and any cat Ziggs. I copy, I, I control seed my seasonal lineup from last season and just dropped it right oh, on. Yeah, yeah, I was considering that for a while. I was like, dude, Scion and Yaya, I like, can't, man. Like, so hold up, right, guys? Like, I brought Pantheon to last seasonal. They won't let me. They just ask for supercharge a week early. <laughs> a week early. I don't even think that would yeah. save the deck. I think Zenith Blade nerf no, absolutely. Sure fucked. No, it's. Well, they are. Then they also printed yeah. disintegrate. <laughs> Actually, speaking of disintegrate, uh, any TF is like a weird deck. It's, it's a like bad never... deck. It sucks. Everyone's playing it, but it's, it's look, not it putting up numbers. It's not a good look, deck. I love. I love the deck. Just hit. Four the deck. W just hit top thirty. Four W just hit top thirty. No, no, it's so cool. not in the tournament. Bad. It's, it it's an, it is an extremely yes. cool it's, deck. It is deck not is good. So cool. You can hit top. I ladder. love it. I love it so much. But I, I love the deck. I like, would not. I would not even gamble like a dollar on no, that. No, but like all, yeah. none of the tournaments for like the past month, no one's topped with any TF. Yeah, that's because yeah, it's yeah, not. not flock in, you're playing flock in 2022, my brother. Do you remember when you guys asked to nerf this card like a month ago? Like, please. Yeah. Oh no, I never <laughs> said to nerf it. But yeah, like the deck. The deck's just not it. It's just not it. It has so many draws. Like, even when you're running that much draw, how do you still have that many times where, like, you're just, like, what? not winning? It's be it's like, because like, every single four meta draw to you try your five meta draw. Combo. I know, it's so... So, have you seen 4LW's list? It's quite interesting. He both are, are we no longer... has some cool uh, new he's... tech, I'm down. He's, no, he's got is, pool sharks, he's got pool sharks, croakers. We could talk about bringing this, yeah. He's got, he's got pool sharks and croakers. He's basically running, like, all the like unit draw cards instead of like yeah, we're small not draw the cards. seven draw twos um, anymore no i i i got um, off of that really so fast it, i think where you wanted um and he's only he's only on one that's, rex that's insane Ooh, one rex insane. I, do, I do think three rex yeah is too i know much. i think you're breaking too much on three rex that's what i said i think he, he's literally going wide with, with he's with, just with playing Tibble. a weird like, that's what he's doing he's just going deck. wide with Tibble. Yeah, why don't you just play yeah. like no he's playing like an aggro deck like an aggro deck i don't know it sounds like he's playing bad pirates or maybe good pirates, because but pirates he gets to play bad, and then he gets yeah. to play TF. Hey, well, actually, I've seen people put you know? misfortune in this, these kinds of decks. Like I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I have to. I, I, I don't think a one. Mi like he gets to play. I messed around with that for yeah. a bit. Misfortune's actually yeah. Misfortune like not turbos bad. Turbos your uh, Annie. Misfortune's not terrible in the deck. It's yeah. I mean, not like you don't need it, but like it's not awful. Yeah, he's just playing it like a deck that smorks and then controls the board through like. To That's look an interesting way to build it. I like that idea. Yeah. I I ran into him. I don't know how many games he won by just like being different, right? Like, mm -hmm. like you queue into him and you're like, oh, it's Steve Annie. I like play the same way, and then all of a sudden like units just start flying on the board, and you're like, wait a minute, like why am I like at you know twelve? It's turn you know four or five. 
Like, I thought we were playing for value Yeah, it's, here. like, an interesting build, um, but I don't think that'll help right. with... It's just, like... Yeah. In a, in a tournament where it's, like, you can see the deck list and stuff, like, as soon as I realized, like, what was happening, like, I still managed to win the game I was playing against him. Like, I... Damn, yeah, that's a crazy testament to how just... powerful that deck is. I do think that, like, a <laughs> big problem with, like, all the Andy decks you see on ladder are you don't know which version of Annie is. Like, when you see Annie Elise, there's two decks that could be, and you mulligan very differently for them. And I feel like I've lost so many games scouts. because I've mulliganed for the wrong one, and that's not going to happen in tournament. Mulligan for control, and this it's This is not going to happen in tournament. <laughs> You're not going to mulligan for the wrong one. Yep. I, I literally ran into someone, and they were playing Annie Elise, and I mulliganed for yeah. the control version, and then they were playing Spiders, and they were like, they messaged me afterward, like, bro, don't tell people. Like, I'm trying to get my LP, <laughs> and I'm like, what, do you want me to, like, go to Twitter and be like, heads up, like, this one person is playing, <laughs> this one person is playing hey, no, Elise no, no, no. Annie. If you oh, see no. Annie Elise, they're <laughs> lying to you. you play it's not control before anymore. The patch, they're playing Spiders. Before the patch, when I was laddering I was with just, Infinite, <laughs> let me tell you, man. Every time I beat someone, I'd see like a notification on Twitter that's like, heads up, fucking losers playing infinite, fuck him, he should die. Like, it's just like, it like, happens. Everyone get yeah. online with your oh landmark removal, God. like, bring your pitchforks or we're gonna burn. Dude. I was like, not, e not even care, the courtesy job, of dude. a fucking subtweet. Like, I, I, they show up in my <laughs> notifications every time. Oh. That, that, whoever messaged you has a right to be afraid. All right, so just like, moral of the story is pick one of, or pick three of the like, 12 to 20 decks you want to play. This, this is a big three good play decks. A, and, play a bar deck. And just play them. Play a, play a bar deck. Part. You don't even play have to play deck. a bar deck. There's like five or six decks, pick two from there and then pick a third deck from anywhere. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 It's just like, yeah. nobody knows what their third deck is. It's very flexible. Like, even if you just didn't think about how you want to formulate your lineup at all. At. You could just like look up the top performing decks of the meta and like <laughs> yeah, like if you just, put them on a dartboard. If or something. you just like, like looked, you'd probably do okay. yeah, yeah. I mean, you're gonna be good into some of these. Yeah. You're gonna be bad into some of these. You're gonna have like one good matchup, one bad matchup, another. Like it's gonna like be if just, you just like, like pull up your ladder win rates and pick like, your three best decks, you'll have a co like a lineup as cohesive as pretty much everyone else. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's probably true. Yeah. Who cares? Just wing it. And, and if someone has a more if someone has a more cohesive lineup, they're pl they're all they're playing three tier two, yeah. tier three decks. And like that's good yeah. for you. True. Yeah. So that's what you I'm heard doing. it here first. It's My puff cap lineup is ready to go. Puff puff caps. Yes, puff caps. So, so, triple Karina puff cap, to crash please. Game. Mill. What's mm -hmm. the third one? Just just play puff cap. Yeah. What? Puff cap. Uh, mill. Maokai mill. Uh, and then Akshan mill. Yeah, Akshan. <laughs> Easy. There we go. Easy. Just just bring three elusive decks. Bring like um bring like Ari Bard, bring like another Molly. like you know, Zed Lulu. And then like yeah, oh that's fine. Just like just like type elusive in, in Ionia and just like slap everything in there and I just like yeah. one drop cool. elusive from Bilgewater or something. Oh we there love, you go. You I know. love that card. You know, like the Fizz Teemo decks. <laughs> that I, just run the uh red, yeah. wait, not Dura deck and the uh, uh plus one on Thunder. Oh, yeah! Fucking if jagged, someone top cuts with tree, I'll Venmo you like ten bucks. That one. Taskmaster. That's that's, 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 yeah, a, that's yeah. the three mana. There you go. Uh, two mana, three two. Two mana. Oh, it's three, only two, two mana. Yeah, two mana, three it's two. two mana. Jagged Taskmaster. Oh no, you're yeah. you're thinking about the Mirai that gains elusive on plunder, right? What? No. Um, no, I'm thinking about the no. plunder. Give it's all your one cost. Three, two. That's no, three it mana. Looks like a pirate. Give, yeah, give jagged, all your one jagged cost taskmaster. plus one attack. Yeah. Jagged Taskmaster is a two mana card. Where get plus one attack. Yes. And then you yep. you play Take your it. powder monkey archetype. And Holy, you win. I'm just yeah no never mind it is oh. yeah I'm I just crazy. We were playing, I thought we were playing misfortune and blades and we were just flipping misfortune. <laughs> Mfi Relia, so let's go. All our blades yeah. have two attack. Mfi Relia, and we all our blades have two attack. Can't believe that just, card's two mana. And we just win some anywhere. <laughs> I I've won games with that deck. Yeah, I don't. It's, it's like I I thought it was yeah, three mana. Yeah, it's it's fun. just like why would you play that? And we 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 play brew leader, so we get to like flip misfortune in like two turns. And we're playing a yeah, game, you, so they never you have Drake Hound. That's a two minute decimate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think uh, we're about out of stuff. How the, of how the mighty have out. fallen, guys. This, these are your, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're really confident, guys. We're All of us are in our best this season. <laughs> like, we're you don't know what we're doing. 
<laughs> we're, we're professionals. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's fine. It's all gonna be fine. We're all top topping seasonals. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Hey, I think that's like it's the best help we can give. Yeah. No. Honestly, like exactly like we've said. Just yeah. Don't stress. don't worry it's about like, it. If if you're in a good place mentally, you're probably gonna win more than like staying up till like three in the morning. Like if there's a, right if there's a seasonal, like, just have fun. It's this one. Just like go for yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And next season it's only uh, five weeks away, so it's what. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Also, how many like small names are we gonna see in the top thirty-two? And like, like this is the season that like someone's gonna come out of like the woodwork. That'd be and sick. Win them, I'm down. Right? I'm always down. Like. Like we got, we got like we we got like some gold, you know, some gold player. Like guys, Dude, like I the, did it. The day <laughs> like, we get a gauntlet gamer <laughs> in like top two, that's that's the dream. Base. <laughs> that would be incredible. I'd read right? that recap. That'd be, that'd be amazing. Be like, hey, I'm yes. silver two. I don't know what's going on. Simon top cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be glorious. All right. Well, I think uh, we're we're just over an hour now so do we have any last tips to give our viewers before we wrap it up for the day guys um, good luck yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. when you when you're in the open rounds uh, take screenshots of all their decks uh, yeah. subscribe yeah. Yeah. I subscribe to Monte like Cristo on down. Twitch mm-hmm. uh, any prime real quick, <laughs> off of taking screenshots once you get further into the rounds you can go to Rintair AR and look at their previous deck so they're all going to say seasonal okay, yeah. we're not we're not promoting it's not super scouting because that's previous it's not you're scouting in okay. game you're scouting what they played the last round okay i don't that's a that's a that's a fine line it's open it's, it's not deck legal it's not super scouting <laughs> <laughs> we are not this is regular scouting the views expressed by fan sora do not <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We are in no way affiliated. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see you um, guys. Yeah, I mean, oh. make a plan. Make a plan, too. Mm-hmm. When you, like, get into game, like, like if you're playing a, a papercraft deck, like, especially if you're picking a papercraft deck, like, make out a plan of, like, what you're going to do, like, how you're going to play each turn. And if you're on the other side, like, make a, make a plan of, like, what is your plan to, like, to be ready for their threats. So, um, don't just, like, go into a game and, like, this card looks good, and I'm going to, like, play in this way, and then you're like, oh, shoot here's this big unit that I can't deal with. Like, do plan ahead a little bit. It, it will help you immensely. So. Milk says a Rigby but, played sorry. Gauntlet to get in. So we had a seasonal Gauntlet oh, champion. Okay. Was, yeah. was he like an no, actual he, Gauntlet Rigby gamer? Was an Expeditions was like... player. I don't know. I know he was an Expeditions player, but mm-hmm. Milk says he was a Gauntlet brother. Sick. We'll see. I don't know if that's true or not. We can ask him. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to be it from us tonight. Thank you all for watching. Good luck at Seasonals. And, uh, oh, if you're really struggling with your lineups, you can go read my article. It should be coming out. might already be out by the time you watch this. That'll help. Peace.